With Clay Thompson and Chris Paul now off the books for the Golden State Warriors, the team had an exceptional opportunity this offseason to make moves in the free agent market. This financial flexibility has opened the door to potentially signing new talent and strengthening the roster. While the free agency frenzy has calmed down since it opened on June 30th, there are still rumors that a significant move by the Warriors could be on the horizon. Golden State currently has 14 roster spots filled with guaranteed contracts, not counting second-round draft pick Quinton Post. Now, let's dive into the Warriors' top three free agent signings and explore the superior alternatives that general manager Mike Dunleavy Jr. could have considered. Two of those talented players signed more affordable contracts elsewhere, highlighting the potential opportunities the Warriors missed. By reflecting on these decisions, we can gain insight into how these moves could have reshaped the team's dynamic and bolstered their championship aspirations. In a strategic move, the Golden State Warriors have secured former Minnesota Timberwolves forward Kyle Anderson to a three-year, $27 million contract, with the final year being non-guaranteed. Anderson, known for his defensive acumen and game intelligence, brings an impressive six foot nine, inch height and seven foot three inch wingspan to the Warriors. His nickname, Slow Motion, reflects his deliberate style of play, which contrasts with the up-tempo nature typically associated with the Warriors. While Anderson's offensive output was modest last season, shooting 22.9% from beyond the arc and averaging 6.4 points per game, his defensive skills and veteran presence are expected to contribute significantly to the team's dynamic. However, some argue that Jalen Smith, a new addition to the Chicago Bulls who also signed a similar three-year, $27 million contract, could have been a better fit for the Warriors. Smith, known for his athleticism and potential for growth, offers a different skill set and could have brought new energy to the team. While Anderson's experience and defensive capabilities are valuable assets, the decision to sign him over Smith opens up a debate about the balance between experience and potential. As the Warriors look to refine their roster and achieve more success, integrating Anderson's strategic mindset and defensive prowess will be crucial, while rethinking their strategic choices will be vital to shaping their future success. In a notable development, the Golden State Warriors recently secured DeAnthony Melton, a veteran former Philadelphia 76ers point guard, to a one-year, $12.8 million contract. Melton, known for his defensive tenacity and career 36.9% shooting from beyond the arc, brings a wealth of experience to the Warriors lineup. Last season, he averaged 11.1 points per game despite battling back injuries that caused him to miss 44 games. At six foot, two and 200 pounds, Melton's physical presence on the court aligns closely with that of Stephen Curry, providing a balanced dynamic on defense. However, given his injury history, the one-year deal reflects cautious optimism rather than a long-term commitment. On the other hand, the Warriors missed the opportunity to sign Josh Okaji, a promising guard from the Phoenix Suns who recently agreed to a two-year, $16 million contract with a non-guaranteed second season. Standing at 6 feet 4 inches and known for his defensive potential, Okaji could impact the game on both ends of the floor, making him a valuable asset for the Warriors. His versatility and athleticism would have complemented the team's needs, especially given his ability to contribute significantly in scoring and defense. By not securing Okaji, the Warriors may have missed an important opportunity to improve the team's overall dynamic and depth for next season. The Golden State Warriors recently made headlines by signing Malik Beasley, a former Philadelphia 76ers point guard, to a four-year, $37.4 million contract with the first two years fully guaranteed. Known for his excellent shooting from beyond the arc, Beasley is expected to bring a much-needed offensive boost to the Warriors, especially with the departure of Klay Thompson. Despite his impressive career three-point shooting average of 40%, 
Beasley's performance dipped to 38.6% last season. As he approaches his 32nd birthday, questions are being asked about his defensive capabilities and how he will fit into the Warriors' crowded small forward rotation, which includes key players such as Stephen Curry, DeAnthony Melton, and emerging players Brandon Podziemski and Gary Payton II. On the other hand, the decision not to pursue Sadik Bey, who recently signed a three-year, $20 million contract with the Washington Wizards, could be seen as a missed opportunity. At six foot one, Bay offers the size and versatility the Warriors have been lacking, along with the ability to contribute significantly on both ends of the floor. Last season, despite struggling from distance, Bay averaged 13.7 points and 6.5 rebounds per game. His addition would have added a much needed dimension to the Warriors roster. Unfortunately, Bay is currently sidelined while recovering from an ACL injury suffered in March. While the Warriors' current moves are aimed at addressing immediate needs, the addition of Bay could have provided a more balanced approach, relieving pressure on current players and potentially offering a stronger defensive presence alongside his offensive skills.